Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you what happens when you leave your equipment outside. Specifically, today I want to show you how this can adversely affect your carburetor. Now what I have here is a carburetor and it came off this John Deere snowblower that was left outside for many years. As you can see, the engine has been taken off of it. And here's the carb. I'm going to take off the bowl. I've got the bowl nut partially off. And when I remove the bowl, you can see that it's in really bad shape. And here's the bowl nut with the adjusting screw. It is an adjustable carburetor. And the emulsion tubes inside here, it's pretty dirty in there as well. I'm going to try to remove the float. Sometimes when a carburetor has been sitting out for a long time like this, you cannot even remove the pin. And sometimes if you pry on the pin too hard, you can actually break the legs that hold the pin, and then you need a brand new carb. Now obviously this carb here needs a good cleaning, but sometimes a good cleaning will not save a carburetor that's been neglected like this. Sometimes you put a new carb kit, you clean it, it still won't run properly, and no matter what you do, you just cannot get it right again. And sometimes even running it through an ultrasonic cleaner like this will not make the carburetor work good again. Now if you operate your own shop, you may want to consider just putting in a new carburetor instead of wasting a lot of time on a carburetor that may work. When I say may work, it's a big may because oftentimes they still don't run properly. Now the reason why the carburetor may never work properly again is because some of the passages that are deep down inside the carburetor may have corrosion inside of them and it's impossible to clean them out. And you would definitely have to replace the float at this point if you were to attempt to repair this carburetor. I've had about a 50% success rate repairing carburetors that have been neglected like this. What sometimes happens is your engine will surge, your engine will pop, and your engine just won't run smoothly again. Now if you were to buy all these parts to repair this carburetor here in Canada, you're looking at approximately $30 to $40 right off the bat. $20 for the carb kit, approximately $10 for the float, and approximately $5 to $10 for the bowl here. Now the question you guys have is probably would you try to repair it? Well, I probably would try to repair it, but I wouldn't waste too much time on it. This carburetor was left out for years in the rain, in the snow, all the elements of the outdoors battered this carburetor and that's why it's in this bad of shape. Now if you're a consumer and you're taking your equipment to the small engine repair shop and your carburetor is like this, I would suggest you just go ahead and get a new carburetor. Most shops will just slap on a new carburetor, it's going to save you aggravation, it's going to save them time and probably save you money as well. So I just wanted to show you guys what can happen when you leave your stuff outside, it can become irreparable. If you don't have a shed or a garage, at least cover up the equipment so that it can breathe. What I mean by that is don't cover it up with a plastic where it's going to sweat underneath. For example, you wouldn't want to wrap your whole engine in plastic and then you can see condensation building inside there. It's going to get in your carburetor that way and maybe inside the engine as well. However, the best way to protect your equipment is to keep it in a garage or a shed. So hopefully this video will have given you a good idea as to why it's good to take care of your outdoor power equipment. You've seen in this video how easily some major parts can get damaged beyond repair. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me next time. Have a great day.